Libra. Welcome to your Love Connection reading for the second half of August. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. And uh, please do check the description box below for any and all information that you need. A lot of links there, a lot of information. So please do go check that out. Uh, personal readings, all kinds of stuff. Uh, before we get started here, um, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. Those who have reached out, reached out for personal readings, thank you so much. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange, such as a tip or, tip or donation to the channel, is very much appreciated. So thank you, thank you, thank you for all your support, generosity. It really, really means a lot to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Libra, second half of August love connection. And this can be any type of connection in any kind of situation and anybody you have in mind so think about whoever you have in mind whatever kind of connection that you have and we'll see what comes out here for you so i hope everybody's doing well and i hope uh everybody's getting through the summer or winter depending where you live one more month okay so libra if you don't resonate with what comes out here it's a zodiac oracle so we may get we may get a planet element or a sign so whatever comes out and if you feel like it doesn't resonate that's totally fine it's sort of like a little extra bonus and the rest of the message may be for you if you clicked on this then there's something in the title that drew you here so hopefully there's a message in here for you somewhere okay well we have Aries so some maybe dealing with an Aries, or maybe you have Aries in your chart, or maybe they have Aries somewhere in their chart. So, air and fire, hmm. Okay, so, let's see. <clears throat> let's see now with this deck, let's get in, oh, and I don't have my little book here, oh well. Um, Okay, so let's get an overall love energy for you, Libra, for the second half of August. What's going on with Libra and love, this love connection? What is the love connection energy like for Libra, whoever they have in mind? And I think I'm going to take that one I wanted to come out. Oh, somebody getting flowers, someone getting offering of love. An invitation out a gift of some kind red roses oh and then we have nine here so wishes coming true fulfillment we have the Queen of Swords down here air energy and that's your energy so somebody may be giving you flowers so very romantic gesture so I feel like romance may be in the air for you Libra romance someone's trying to romance you giving you flowers a lot of like dreamy energy all right let's see let's see libra how are you feeling in this connection how are you feeling about your person let's get one card for libra spirit please one card for libra how are they feeling how are they feeling about their person this connection all right, so we have the moon. So maybe, you know, this just could be an energy. I'm not sure how far this relationship will go. Maybe it's new and um, there's still uncertainty here of, you know, what will happen in this connection? How far will it go? You know, will it go beyond dating and romance here? You know, not seeing everything, not knowing all the facts. Maybe you don't know everything about this person yet, but so far they're coming off in a very dreamy romantic energy so far but the queen of swords energy here you need to know you know if you need to know things i feel like uh that air energy don't be afraid to ask have communication so you know needing to find more things out about this person um five is about change 32 here and we do have the eight of cups down here at the bottom so there is that energy of Maybe you may find something out about this person you don't like. With the Eight of Cups is usually walking away from something or walking to something. So you could either walk, walk away from something unfulfilling or walk away to walk to something more fulfilling. So 
You may find out something about this person um, you may not like, you may walk away, or the more you find out about this person, the more you want to go to them, you want to be with them with the Eight of Cups energy. Uh, change here with five, so this relationship could change. So I don't know, we'll see what's going on here. So let's get one card, Libra, for your person, whoever you're thinking of. One card for them. How are they feeling about you? How are they feeling about this connection? How are they feeling right now about Libra and this connection spirit, please? Can I have one card? And I think that's it right there. Oh, Libra. This is a mask. So they may be wearing a mask right now. You see like three faces here. So they may not be upfront and honest with you that's and you see the moon here you see the sun here um, I don't have my little book here but to me this is like a mask but you have 440 here which equals four which is about uh, foundation and stability <sighs> so I mean again they could be wearing a mask they may be just telling you what you want to hear you know, they may be coming off as someone who's very romantic. Um, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see as we get into this. Uh, they may be wearing a false mask, so be wary. This may be built on a false foundation. You may find out things you don't like about this person. It may cause you to walk away. Because you got four and then five. So something may change. It may seem like really solid right now, but something may, you may find out something that may change this whole dynamic with uh, three and two there with five. I don't know. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have a mountain here, which is three and three's, you know, like a community uh, number, socializing number, working together kind of number. And then you have the eight of wands, which is about communication and travel. So there may, it may be just an obstacle right now. Maybe they're coming out off as very, uh, like a tough exterior. Maybe they uh, don't like to open up. Maybe, um, you know, it's hard to move that mountain, like to get them to open up um, and communicate with you for some reason. So to you, it may look like they're hiding something, but maybe they're not. Maybe they're just afraid to open up here maybe they're kind of stubborn you know I don't know but you know there is communication here passionate communication and an energy with three of working together so if you can get them to open up and uh, remove this mass that they may be maybe they're just hiding their true feelings you know and you're not sure how they feel because this is a romance and a daydreamy kind of energy I don't know we'll see we'll see we'll see all right, so what's going on with Libra and this love connection? This can go uh, several different ways. I mean, they could be just playing you and wearing a mask and telling you what you want to hear, or maybe they're just re not really opening up to you and telling you how they truly feel. Um, maybe there's somebody that's kind of stubborn, and it's hard to get them to budge and open up. As with that rock there, it's like trying to move a mountain. <laughs> All right, but the energy is here for romance, so I don't know. So let's see. Wow, okay, so we have two right away. So let's clarify your energy. The Four of Mirrors, so Four of Cups energy here. Yeah, you and the water energy here again with the moon is Cancer or Pisces. Um, but yeah, you, you're not sure here how they feel. You know, you're kind of like, you know, like just sitting here like okay I don't know is this going to go any further are we going to go beyond dating are they going to offer me something um, um, if not committed just um, just dating each other exclusively and are they going to make me exclusive are we going to go further than this you know what's going to happen here are you waiting for them to ask you out and you're just waiting and it's not happening and maybe they're not really uh, telling you how they feel and they're not coming forward. I don't know. Where I'm, I, I don't know. Let's see. What's going on here? How is your person? The eight. Oh, so they got. You have the eight of cups there, and now they have the eight of cups. Wow. So. 
Hmm. So they're either walking away or they want to come to you. I don't know. You know, they. you see he's kind of walking to her. So maybe they want to come to you. Maybe they want to ask you out. Maybe this is just a crush situation and you're waiting for them to ask you out. Or you're wondering, do they like me? I like them. I don't know. With the moon energy there, you really don't know what's going on. And they're kind of hiding the way they feel here. Four um, can be kind of like that stubborn energy. And I think, you know, they look at you and they want to come to you. But I don't know. I think you know, they're very stubborn. So let's see what the situation, what's going on here. So we have the Ace of Swords. We have the Nine of Swords. Wow. And we have the Six of Wands. So, so the Ace of swords is connected to you so you're wanting truth and clarity and that's your energy swords are your energy libra gemini aquarius so you're wanting truth and clarity you're wanting open honest communication you you want some sort of new beginning uh to happen between you and this person it's like you want to know the facts you want to know the truth you want open honest clear cut communication with this person but attached to them is the six of spirals which is the six of wands so this is success and victory, Th things going in a good direction here. So I feel like, you know, they do, you know, it's about passion too with the spirals as wands. So, and cups is about emotion. So I think, you know, they turn, maybe they turn their back on how they truly feel. But in reality, what they really want to do is come to you and have the success and victory with you. But they're kind of hiding how they feel. Because between the two of you here is the nine of scrolls, the nine of swords, which is stress, anxiety, worry, nervousness, um, just kind of like not knowing what's going on, just like maybe even losing sleep, just being very anxious and nervous. So both of you are feeling very nervous and anxious about each other, not knowing what's going on here. But truth and clarity is needed this to go in a very successful direction instead of worry you know stress and anxiety I feel like they need to remove their masks come to you and you're just sitting here wondering what the heck's going on you don't know how they feel someone's being stubborn stubborn here with the rock mountain energy but the romance and um, I don't want to say love, but at least the remote romance energy is here with these roses in wish fulfillment. But with the Queen of Swords, truth and clarity is needed. Maybe you're the one that has to approach them. So let's get into your advice in this connection, Libra. What is your advice in this connection? So we have the Knight of Mirrors. Well, there you go. I just said maybe you're the one that has to come forward. And here's the Knight of Mirrors and the Ten of Wands. So yeah. This situation is very burdensome. There's too much stress, anxiety, and nervous energy between the two of you. It's very burdensome. You know, you have a lot of burden about this, wondering what's going on. Do they feel the same? Are they ever going to come forward and say how they really think? Do they like me too? I think they like me, but I don't know with the moon energy. So something needs to change with the three and two is five. Four, you know, can be a very stable um grounded uh, connection here can be very successful truth clarity and here is the knight of mirrors the knight of cups this is taking action and movement forward coming forward with a proposal you know maybe not love but say you know hey just go and talk to them say hey how you doing and you know what's up with you whatever here but coming forward and making some sort of gesture towards this person to get the ball rolling because otherwise you're just going to be left in this very burdensome, like mentally entrapped, nervous, anxious energy. So maybe you're the one that has to take this leap here forward and go to them to get out of this moon energy and make that romantic gesture towards them to bring out the truth and clarity of the situation, Libra. All right, so let's see what the possible outcome may be in this connection. The Seven of Spirals. So this is um, it's a defensive energy. Oh, defensive, on guard kind of energy. So 
I mean, they may be on guard here and they may be a little defensive, but let's see why this is here. Well, to a spiral. So this is making plans together. So if they come off a little defensive or whatever, just say, hey, you know, um, maybe we can work this out. This is making plans, going in a new direction, making decisions, working together. It's a lot of fire energy here. So I think together you can work this out, maybe uh, help them come out of this defensive on guard energy in some way um, to get the ball rolling here. But I do see two is a you know is two people you know so I think if you approach them, even if they appear to be on guard, they may want to, you know, come together with you and talk and make plans, make a plan to go out or something like that. You know, they may just have that energy of being defensive and on guard, but maybe they're not really. You know, so let's see what else do we have here. So justice. So you know, balancing out the scales in this situation truth and clarity Libra that's your energy justice that's your energy so you need truth clarity um, scales to be balanced so I feel like you're gonna have to make the first move here the Queen of Scrolls and there is uh, your energy again Queen of Swords so again in where was the Queen of Swords over here so I <laughs> wow and I really think you're going to have to be the one to make the first romantic sort of like gesture towards this person in some way, even if you send them a text or an email or um, an, a private message or something here. Truth, clarity here is needed. I think you're going to have to make the first move. And there it is again, the page of stones, uh, earth energy, maybe very slowly, really carefully think about what you want to say something that's sure steady stable and grounded not too uh, flighty not too serious not too um, you know just something you know stable secure and um, really think about what you want to say to this person tennis spirals again uh, here fire energy Oh, the Ten of Swords was over here. So this is an ending. Um, I thought that was the Ten of Wands. So, but I still see this as mental entrapment. So, you know, needing again to end all this energy of just sitting and wondering what's going to happen here. You know, instead of this connection just ending and then never knowing what could be and then feeling very disappointed about it, you need to leap forward. Because now here's the Ten of Wands. It's choosing the direction, which direction you want to go. Do you want to go towards this person? Um, as over here with the Eight of Cups. Or were you going to just walk away and and then carry the weight of that on your back the rest of your life? What would have, what could have been? What would have happened between me and this person if I would have made the first move? The Magician. So manifesting this new beginning manifesting this new beginning so you have the tools to do it you have stability you have love and compassion you have truth and clarity um what's the other one you have all the tools to do it here yep so you may have to manifest this eight of scrolls again with the mental entrapment here with the eight of scrolls it's your energy here so here you know needing to come out of this mental so you have it here and have it here so needing to come out of that, needing get needing to get clarity, making the first move. The Empress, so knowing your value and worth, taking that first step. This could grow into something big, bright, and beautiful, the birth of something new, new relationship, growth, expansion, um, in all ways. The Empress energy here, and that is Libra and Taurus. And the Magician over here, is Gemini and Virgo so we do have the Knight of Scrolls here so that is also you came out as the Queen and now this is your energy with the Knight so taking that action this is an energy of rushing in though but just be mindful of that with the Empress here you know no stay you know with a clear mind and stabilize your energy and don't rush in uh, frantically and scare them <laughs> 
So on the bottom of the deck here, we have the Ace of Cups. So this is a brand new beginning in love. So love overflowing, emotions, feelings, fulfillment, happiness, joy, brand new beginning in love, divinely guided here. So this could be a promising love connection, but I think you are going to have to make the first move. Working together, three of pentacles energy, collaborating, compromising, working together in this connection, the moon again. So needing, you know, to know how they really feel. Not you, you really don't know right now. You don't know what's going on. And there's a need here for communication to find out what's going on. So here's the communication again with the page of spirals, page of wands. Um, can be passionate communication or just feeling very determined to make the first move here and make initial uh, contact communication. And then you have temperance, Sagittarius energy. So balancing out the situation, healing, having patience with them and this connection, healing energy. I don't know why that's in reverse. So, yep, your brand new beginning in love is here. But I think you will have to make the first move towards this person. I don't know, maybe they're just shy or maybe they're stubborn or they're just afraid or scared. I don't know. They could have, I mean, we do have stress and anxiety here. So maybe they're just afraid to approach you. Maybe afraid to approach you. And you're scared and nervous that they're never going to come and approach me. But they're wanting this success with you. All right. So let's see. Let's get some ooh, guidance for you, Libra. Some advice and guidance for you, Libra. And this love connection. The end of August spirit, please. What is the connection? What is the guidance and advice in this connection for Libra? Wow. That's too many. That's too many. That's too many. All right, what do we have for Libra? Please, Garrett, what do we have for Libra? All right, I'm just going to take one because they're giving me anything. Okay, what do we have? Loss, grief, sadness, and resurrection. 22. So, I mean, don't lose this connection because there'll be grief, sadness, as right here. But you have 22 is about two people coming together. I think if you don't find out what could be in this connection, if you just choose to, if, you know, not take, and my ears ringing, so don't lose this connection. Don't lose this connection, okay. So let's see, let's see if there's one more. Let's see if there's one more. Libra. Let's see what that one is. A hidden gift. Sadness and ending a new beginning. Exactly. Nine. Again, with the um, wishes being fulfilled and granted, dreams coming true. A hidden gift. So there's a hidden gift in this connection. And if you lose it, it's going to be um, grief and sadness here. And I think you'll feel that if you just let it pass by. Don't let this pass by. It's a hidden gift in there, in there somewhere. In this person, in this connection. Then you have remembrance, resurfacing of past feelings and emotions. Three. So, I mean, you could have had past lives with this person. Um, I don't know, but maybe this connection brings up past uh, feelings and memories. Of past connections for some reason um, or maybe they, they are being held back from things they went through in a previous connection or relationship and that's what's holding them back but we have enchanted forest here mystery magic excitement 27 9 again and then the dream so I do feel like they feel like you're very enchanting, mis, you know, mis, very uh, mysterious, exciting. And then over here, the dream, something is revealed, insight breakthrough. So four, again, the foundation stability. So, yeah, I think there's a hidden gift here 
I think they're very enchanted by you. They may even be dreaming of you or you of them. Um, very exciting, magical kind of energy. And maybe that what's, is what scares them. Okay, Libra. I hope this resonated for you. I see here you may have to make the first move and don't um, turn your back on this connection because I think there could be something special here. But you may have to make the first move very slowly, gradually towards this person to get the ball rolling. All right, Libra. Um, if this resonated for you, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general and love. So please don't miss out on that. And... Um, sending you much luck here in your situation and sending you much light love and blessings and if this didn't resonate for you you can check below the description box for uh all playlists for libra and even there though there's dates associated disregard that if there's something that catches you catches you uh, a title then there's something probably there for you so i'm sending you much light love and blessings libra in this situation good luck to you and as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.